Today I'm going to show you how to run Ubuntu on your Windows 10 or 11 PC directly from a USB drive. This means you can use Ubuntu without installing it on your main system, and your Windows will be safe. The USB drive will be persistent, so what does that mean? It means all your files, apps and settings are saved on the USB. That way the next time you boot from the same USB everything will still be there. It's almost like carrying a portable Linux computer in your pocket. Before we start, like the video, subscribe to the channel and let's get started. The first thing we need is the Ubuntu ISO file. Open your browser search Ubuntu download. Click on the first website. Now click on download Ubuntu desktop. Click download AMD ISO file will start downloading. Next we'll download a small tool called Rufus. Go to Rufus website and download the latest version. Once both files are downloaded, open Rufus. Now plug in your USB drive. It should be at least 8 but if you want persistence I recommend 16 GB. You can see my USB is 64 GB. Click select and choose the Ubuntu ISO you downloaded earlier. Drag the slider to choose how much space you want to reserve for saving apps and files. I will choose 30 GB. You can select less. Now choose your PC partition scheme. To check it simply type system information in search menu. Look for BIOS mode on the right side. Reckon if it says legacy choose MBR. If it says UEFI then choose GPT. Once done click start. Rufus will warn you that everything on the USB will be erased. Click OK. Now wait while Rufus writes Ubuntu to the USB and sets up persistence. This may take 10 to 20 minutes depending on the speed of your USB drive. When the status shows ready, your persistent Ubuntu USB is ready. Now let's test it. To use Ubuntu, leave the USB plugged in and restart your computer. While it's starting, press your boot menu key. This key depends on your computer brand. From the boot menu, choose your USB drive. On the next screen, choose try or install Ubuntu. After a short loading screen you'll see the Ubuntu menu. Now it will ask try or install Ubuntu, choose try Ubuntu. Now you're inside a fully working Ubuntu system, running straight from your USB stick. Because we created it with persistence you can save files to your home folder, install apps from the software center, change settings like Wi-Fi passwords or themes, and all of it will still be there the next time you boot Ubuntu from this USB. And that's it. If you found this video helpful then give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel.